Located southwest of Port Mosby is Ella Beach, the city's primary public beach. The one kilometer stretch of white sandy beach on the capital's waterfront today has been minimized to just over 200 meters. On the backdrop of happy times where leisure and family dwell, heavy machinery is remodeling the once famous beach. On Tuesday, leader of the PPP, Ben Micah, wasn't happy with what was happening and condemned the projects. <laughs> So I condemn in the strongest terms this heartless, thoughtless destruction of Elabit. Mr. Micah received support from a small crowd. These are people who come to the beach on a daily basis to do their small informal businesses. The project has now left them with no place to go. <laughs> Mr. Micah questions whether the 45 million Kina Beach redevelopment project captures the ordinary Papua New Guineans or it's just another window dressing for international leaders that will come for the APEC meeting next year. For many, many years, their life, their history and their culture will be gone forever when these criminals take our beach away. That's right. Ella Beach, formerly known as Era Kone in Motu, meaning Tetol Beach, is home to the city's famous Hirimuala Festival. In the early 20th century, the beach was only for the white. In 1914, Ella Beach was the starting point of the proposed Port Mosby Rauna Railway. The original Kasuwarina's trees grew from the marks of this railway. The First World War stopped the railway works. It was also used as a landing ground for the first aeroplanes in Port Mosby until Kila Kila Airstrip was made. After the Second World War, many government offices and facilities were located on Ella Beach. In the past, it was the city's leisure hub. NCD Governor Poes Pakop and Special Events Minister Justin Techenko said Ella Beach is still Ella Beach. And um, it will benefit everyone. There will be three beaches. On the far end side to the east, there will be a spotting beach because the volleyball court and the, uh, the beach volleyball will be moved over there and other spot, spotting facilities. In the middle will be a family beach. It will, the the, the uh, parking and all the facilities there will be there to support the families. Well, let's put it this way. Firstly, Ben Micah, you know, if he wants to live in the dark ages in the 1960s and 70s, then... Um, he can have the old Ella Beach, which was providing no real service at all to the people of Port Moresby. The newly designed Ella Beach is designed in a way to open up and double, double the amount of recreational space uh, for the people of Port Moresby. The leaders have called on Mr. Micah to go back and develop his electorate and not downplay progress in the city. So I cannot understand why you know, some silly people who have failed everywhere is going to come here and complain. This 50 million or 48 million is an uh, investment for all of PNG. Even people of Kiwi who can't see anything happening there, they'll come here and have a good time, better than what they will <laughs> see in Kiwi. Engineers on the ground say the works are progressing well and on time. The infrastructure will be completed in about 12 months from now, and then the landscape will continue and uh, for full completion uh, about August next year. While works on the project is into its fourth month, small children at the beach are worried that the space has been taken away. Uh, before I was a little bit busy, now I was a little bit busy. Exactly, Vivian, I was a little bit busy. I was a little bit busy. What you're seeing at the moment is the construction phase. Of course, it doesn't look pretty at the moment, but when it's finished, it's going to be sensational and people are really going to admire it. It'll just be like, say, a Gold Coast development once it's finished.